lens replacement surgery one year later. Well, actually it's about 13 or 14 months since I had my lens replacement surgery. Um, you might notice I'm squinting a bit and I promise you there's nothing to do with the lenses or the surgery. It's just that I'm on a terrace and it's sunny. I'm currently in South Spain uh, for a few months and so I'm, it's quite bright where it's reflecting where I'm sitting. Um, but I wanted to jump on and do a, a quick video because uh, I know there's many people out there, thousands of people who've been watching uh, kind of this journey. And, um, you know, uh, one, one particular video, um, you know, it's got, I think, nearly 10,000 views now. So I, I'm really pleased that that was useful to some people. Um, and if you haven't seen that, I guess I'll put it as a link at the end of this, uh, this video. Um, and that was kind of my one month in, I believe. Um, one, yeah, one month. Um, so, you know, I had loads of comments and I tried to respond to as many as possible. Uh, I think I got them all, but um, so thank you for doing that. If you're one of those people that did comment and ask questions. Um, apologies for taking so long initially. I didn't even realize that there was questions on here and comments. You know, I hadn't done that much YouTube in the past, so I didn't even know that there was comments and that I had to answer so or, or I could answer. So apologize if you're one of those. Uh, if not, you know, then, then yeah, by all means, keep asking questions. And again, I'd been thinking about doing another one of these for a, a, a little while now, a couple of months. And um, it was actually one of the comments uh, that I saw pop up today when I was looking at something else. I, I said, hey, I'm looking forward to the next video. So, um, yeah, I thought, well, why not? You know, I happened to be on the terrace with my phone and uh, I thought, why not just jump on and do one? So um, I had my lens surgery done in the Czech Republic in Prague uh, about 13, 14 months ago. Um, a bit scary. I haven't really had lots of surgeries in my life. And uh, you know, maybe you're one of these people who is just thinking about having it done themselves or, um, you know, you've had it done and maybe you, you, you're kind of maybe concerned about what you're experiencing right now. So I'm going to try and address um, some of those things. Um, you know, when I when I first got my, my lens replacement done, I've said in previous videos that I didn't really need lens replacement. You know, I had glasses at quite a low, um, you know, level or whatever they call it um i, I didn't you know i i use them for reading but i could watch tv i could drive i was okay but i just didn't like the hassle of putting glasses on and resting them on my nose while i'm trying to be on my ipad and watch tv at the same time it was more of a convenience thing um so i went over and and uh went to a great a great clinic and had incredible loads of tests done it was really good um then you know went in for the surgery and uh you know yeah, it was, uh, it was, there were several points in it when I thought, gosh, do I really want to do this? Now, uh, I went and had tests and there was one test that they did that they weren't sure whether or not, um, it didn't give a conclusive result, basically. So I, um, they, they got me to come back the next day. They said, we're not going to do it yet. We just need to come back next day and just do this test again. Now, at the time, I really wanted, you know, eye surgery. I thought, I've come all this way. I want it. I think it's a good thing. And so... You know, I've got to do this test where I'm looking inside this machine and dots are coming up. And I'm supposed to press when I see these dots. And I don't think I've told this story actually on any of my other videos. But so I'm pressing the dots. And then as I'm doing it, I'm pressing it. They're getting the results there. And, and I, every now and again, I'm thinking, then I started to second guess myself and thinking, did I actually see the dots pop up every single time? Or was it like a, you know, it was a, a faint one that I thought was one, so I pressed the button anyway, and gosh, what if I press the button and I shouldn't have pressed the button because it really wasn't a real spot that showed up that I saw, you know, maybe I didn't really see it, I imagined it, and you know, like when you see dots popping up, sometimes you can kind of almost imagine it. So I started to second guess it, but I kind of said, yep, uh, I'm gonna do it, went through, and then of course I had the surgery, and first of all, that was <laughs> that was an experience, um, you know, had a, a tablet to relax you, you sit there in the chair, they keep putting eye drops in, which I hated because it stings. Um, and uh, I don't like stuff in my eye anyway, but it stung. Eventually, you know, they do this sting thing, which I guess opens up your pupils um, for the surgery. So then, then I'm going to the surgery and uh, sitting on the chair, then the guy covers up your face and opens the eye. And I, I just remember, you know, the, the surgeon saying to me, you know, uh, and again, you, you're trying really hard to, You've got to keep your eyes open wide, um, 
you can't just keep one eye open. You've got to keep both your eyes open wide. Even though they're working one, you're keeping your eye open wide. And, um, you know, it's hard because now they're, they're putting stuff in your eye. They're pushing things in. They're poking around. And you're, you're, you're trying so hard to keep your eyes open. But you're kind of struggling to keep them open. And I remember the surgeon saying to me, keep your eyes open. Very dangerous if you can't keep your eyes open. You must keep your eyes open. He said this like five, six times. And I was like, I just kept thinking, I'm trying to keep my eyes open, but you're poking something in it and it stings. And it's like, I, it, it wasn't painful. Just again, I don't want to scare you or worry you, um, but it wasn't really painful. It just, you know, it's like someone poking your eye and it's almost like, it feels like just someone sticking it. If you stick your finger in your eye like that, imagine that, but it just hurts a little bit more. Um, so anyway, we do both the eyes and, and uh, I come out and of course I've got my sunglasses on because of that and um, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting with other people that have had it done and someone's like had their second eye done. They had one done and another one done. and His was perfect straight away. Mine was like not. Um, and again, if you look back on my other videos, you kind of see what I felt straight away, what I felt after the first week, first month and so on. Um, but basically, yeah, mine wasn't straightforward and I had to go through that journey. Um, so I guess, you know, you're watching this because you want to know, how is it now? Well, um, it's, it's, you know, it's funny. It's, I, I guess part of the reason I forgot to do videos is I kind of forgot about it. I just, it, it became normal um, when I think about it and say, well, what can I see? So I get a book. Um, by the way, it's my book available on Amazon. And also, if you want one for free, ebook just drop me a comment and I'll get you one but basically if I read a book you know I can read it fine I don't I don't have to you know do this or this I can read it here I can read it there I mean it, it's fine um, so you know reading is fine certainly on paper is is, is perfect no issues at all um, when it comes to things like looking at your phone or watching an OLED TV or, or plasma TV or something when you got like bright white writing and dark dark thing I still do get like a bit of glare around the writing and also using like if I'm reading text on a phone there is a little bit of a kind of a shadow if you like uh, but I will say it's a lot better than it was originally and I don't really notice it I guess I just kind of got used to it and it's only when I kind of look and go oh yeah that that's got a bit of a bit of glare around it um so I haven't really noticed it. It's just kind of like anything. I suppose you go to live with it. Um, so uh, yeah, it's it's been it's been okay. I think you know if you asked me six, seven, eight months ago, would I have done it again if I knew what I knew? I might have said no actually, because one thing I, I knew is when I put glasses on, it was perfect, and whether I'm watching TV or I was watching thing, it was perfect. And I've got to say. Um, I wouldn't say my vision right now is perfect. It's it's good. Um, you know, I can see great distance. I can see, uh, you know, I can read. I don't need glasses, you know, um, at all. So in that respect, it's a good thing. And my goal was to not use glasses and, and so on. Um, so in that respect, it's a good thing. Um, not having to take glasses with me everywhere, carry them to the restaurant, to read the menu, etc., etc. Again, not such a good thing. Oh, I will say though, actually, in, in kind of lower light, so if I'm in a restaurant or something and it's like candlelight or whatever, um, yeah, definitely is, I won't say struggle, but it's definitely harder to read in low light. Um, and I think probably with glasses, I'm, I remember maybe I could read it okay. But again, I think lower light, it's a little bit more difficult, but again, not bad. I mean, it's not like I can't read it. I normally can't. You know, I can read it, you know, um, and I just, you know, get the torch out of my phone if it's too dark. But, you know, if it's pretty dark, it, it, it's a little bit more difficult. Um, so, so yeah, I think really just, you know, if you're considering getting it done, I think you've got to look way up the pros and the cons. Um, yeah, if you don't want to wear glasses, that's good. If your eyesight is really bad and, you, you know, you don't want to wear glasses, it's good. Um, for me personally, even a year and a bit later, it's not perfect. Um, but it's acceptable for me. Um, you know, I'm 51 years old. Um, definitely sure my eyes would have got worse. I've had to get different lenses and so on in the meantime. So yeah, if, you know, I don't think it's for me to recommend or not recommend you doing it or not doing it, but just that's my experience. So I hope that 
uh, is useful to you. Um, I'm not sure I'll do any more of these. I may do another one if, you know, a year later, you know, I find it, it is perfect and everything's amazing. I kind of have settled for the fact that this is kind of how it is now. Um, but again, I may find a year from now or six months from now that I go, oh, actually, this is amazing. It's perfect. And I'll let you know. I have heard stories of it taking several years for people to get to kind of perfect eyesight. So I'm hoping, in my case, that that is the case. Um, but if not, you know, I feel it's pretty okay uh, as it is now. So definitely, if you haven't watched the other videos, um, I'd encourage you to go back and watch my previous videos because I think that's going to give you a bit more detail, a bit more relevant experience for you or relevant um, sharing of my experience, if you like, um, for you to kind of get some understanding if you're in that position of kind of making a decision. OK, so thank you again for watching. Um, again, please subscribe to my channel. Um, so if I do do one, then you get notified. But also I'm posting content now or on more of a regular basis, everything from personal development, mindset, skill set, um, you know, and everything in between, really. Um, so again, if that's kind of your thing, then yeah, by all means, jump on and, and subscribe and take it from there. And also look me up on, you know, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. I'm more happy to connect with people on there as well, uh, particularly if you're UK based. But actually, I'm just about to bring a course out um, on mind hacking. It's called Mind Hacking Masterclass. So that is something that uh, is relevant to anybody in the world. Okay. Have an awesome rest of the day. Take care and bye-bye.